What my mum likes to say is that we bring a lot of magic and joy, obviously, to Gisborne, and we have for 25 years. It's not just for young people, but it's for all the young at heart people who are into the mythicals and the magic. Essentially, my role is to support disengaged young people uh, aged 15 to 21 into education or employment pathways. Initially, Erin notified me that she would be going to work or would be applying for the role at Myths and Legends and I made the phone call, spoke to Ari and just said uh, this is a little bit about youth projects, this is what we do and starting someone new um, is not an easy sort of task. So having an extra set of hands in there and um, an extra support to you know, help with that new process is I think really valuable. It was a good incentive with the youth projects obviously because Training is really hard. It takes such a long time to train someone, especially when you need to trust them with your business. So it was a really good incentive to have the youth projects there. Yeah, that initial phone call started. Um, then I came to Myths and Legends, had a chat with Ari and just sort of worked through the ways that I could support not only Erin, but Ari in that transition uh, process as well. But I thought it was going to be so much more difficult. It was literally just, yeah, really easy transition. Um, didn't feel like, you know, there was kind of the youth projects behind it at all. It kind of just felt really natural and smooth process in just hiring another um, fairy into the family. The biggest misconception about young people is that they don't have a work ethic and they don't want to work. They do want to work and the right young person um, is going to give you 110%. Um, you know, if they respond well to the employer. Erin's been so reliable and very trustworthy and, you know, her work ethic has definitely grown um, from starting here. Yeah, got all confidence in Erin for sure.